13 News at 9. Candidate for Utah Governor Morgan Philpott says he's alive tonight because of a miracle. Philpott and two campaign staffers plunged down a 100-foot embankment off Highway 40 early this morning after a day of campaigning. Philpott talked about the crash with Fox 13's Gene Kennedy, who joins us live in studio. Gene. Hi there, Max. And in a, despite, despite that plunge, Philpott walked away with only a bruise. The other staffers, only scratches. Tonight, Philpott and his crew are thanking a good Samaritan, a stranger who rescued them. As gubernatorial candidate Morgan Philpott captured video of the crash site, he couldn't help but think... It's pretty miraculous that I'm alive, and all I could think about was my family and uh, how much I would miss them. The truck plunged 100 feet down a snowy embankment off Highway 40 just before 1 this morning. Maybe his just hit, flipped you. It was dark, and the roads were covered with snow. Hit, Inside the you. truck, Philpott and two staffers had just wrapped up a day of campaigning in Vernal. And we were driving back up 40, headed to Heber, headed home, and hit a spot of ice and snow, and next thing you know, we were headed to the edge and the scary part was when we got over here and realized where we were headed we had no idea there was a drop off like this it was so dark that you could not you couldn't even tell that there was an embankment over here and so uh, once we hit that embankment i you know you hear people say their lives splash before their their eyes mine didn't necessarily I, but but at that very moment i felt uh, like we could be done for a stranger in another car witnessed the crash. We were down at the bottom. The first thing they did was start yelling at us uh, to find out if we were okay. And once once we got out of the car, uh, a gentleman, I don't know who he is, but whoever you are, thank you very much, uh, came out, threw a rope over the side, and pulled us up. The truck mangled, but the injuries minor. I think I was or something. I think I was probably the most fortunate. I got away with just a bump on my shin. Paramedics from Heber released all three from the scene. I'm just glad to be able to have gone home to my family last night. And I hope that I can you know, take experiences like this and just be a better person, a better father, a better husband, and a more candid uh, candidate. Philpott says he was definitely humbled by this experience, and even though he still doesn't know the name of that stranger who helped, he hopes that that man is watching and knows how grateful he is. Reporting live tonight in the studio, Gene Kennedy, Fox 13 News.